Hey everyone, I'm Pratima Adhikari and welcome to the review of the Humidity Crystal, which is yet another smartphone with a bezel-less display. While some of us might be hearing the name Humidity for the first time, the company has been selling smartphones in Nepal for quite a time now. For a price of Rs 25,900, the specifications the Humidity Crystal offers seem very, very exciting. So this review is going to be all about finding out if the Humidity Crystal is as good as it looks on paper. As always, I will go for the design and display first. I must say that the phone looks very premium for the price. The bezel-less top surely does not go out of notice. There is glass everywhere on the front and even on the back which is surrounded by a metallic frame. Apart from the metallic portion, the entire thing is protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 4. One thing is that it attracts a lot of smudge. As you can see for yourself, my prints are all over the phone. Moving on, the phone has a 5.5-inch 1080p display which is sharp and bright. It has a good color reproduction, meaning the colors are nice and vibrant, and the level of contrast it provides is good too. The display is visible under sunlight too, and I must say there are no viewing angle problems on it. The Humidity Crystal does well in the display department. On the top, we have the 3.5mm audio jack with the proximity and the light sensors, and the earpiece right below it. On the left, there are the volume control buttons and the power button. What I have always wanted to say out loud is that the Humidity Crystal has a very inconvenient power button placement. I mean, each time I had to struggle finding it. I had the same problem even after having used the device for more than two weeks. The notification light on the lower side looks cool. Though the looks are elegant, the phone is one awkward device to hold. The Humidity Crystal is powered by an octa-core MediaTek 6750T processor coupled with a 4GB of RAM and 64GB of onboard storage. Out of the 64GB storage, we have 54GB left for usage. App switching on this device is fine, however app opening is a little slower in comparison to other phones. It's like the phone panics while we try to open any app in a rush. The phone is not as responsive as it should be. The good news is, the phone can handle many apps at the same time. On my use, the phone has never shut off even while aggressively using different apps. I have played high-end to low-end games and the results are pretty good. No stutters while playing any games and the visuals look good as well. So no complaints. The only thing that set me off a little while playing games is that the speakers tend to be covered while holding the phone with both hands and I could not feel the thrill while playing Asphalt 8. Other than that, gaming is smooth, but long time of gaming equals to the device heating up as fire. The Humidity Crystal comes with Android 7.0 Nougat coupled with a near stock like UI, so you are not going to find bloatware on board. The UI has some additional features like customizing the notification bar, changing the position of navigation keys, etc. Moving on, let's talk about the sound quality. The speakers are decently loud, it lacks bass and the quality is average. The fingerprint sensor on the back is good enough, it's not bad but it's not very fast as well. Also, it's like it's mixed with the back so it's difficult finding the sensor. Summing up, apart from the gaming and UI experience, the performance is just fine. Let's move on to the cameras. The Humidity Crystal has a 13.5 megapixel dual camera setup at the rear portion and a 5 megapixel selfie shooter at the front. The rear camera is one of those that has a fake bokeh as it is crystal clear that it is the software that is producing the blur. The bokeh is terrible. As you can see in the pictures, it creates a blur only in a circular fashion, bringing together both the object in focus as well as the surroundings. I didn't have the hassle of testing the HDR mode in this device because there isn't such feature. There is an option to save the raw photo which was a quite a waste considering there are minimum camera features. The images from the rear camera came out average. The images are not so sharp and oftentimes come out overexposed. Similarly, when I zoomed into the camera and took pictures, they came blurry and slightly pixelated. With a dual camera setup, I was expecting more. Similarly, the 5 megapixel selfie shooter is okay. The pictures in broad daylight are mediocre in quality and in dark lighting conditions, the images are dark, blurry and grainy. Also, there was a reddish tint in the pictures that didn't look good. One major concern with the selfie camera is its placement. In an attempt to have minimum bezels at the top, the selfie camera is placed at the bottom of the phone, which is very awkward indeed. Once you open the camera, you cannot figure out where to look, 
and every time you have to invert your phone to take selfies, this was very inconvenient. Talking about the battery, the Humidity Crystal is powered by a 3000 mAh battery. Under normal usage, that is for phone calls and using social media, the phone's battery lasts for almost a day. Whereas while playing games and watching videos, the phone suffers significant battery drainage as a result of which the battery lasts for around 5 hours only. Similarly, the device takes around 2 and a half hours to get fully charged, meaning there is no fast charging support. The battery gives a screen on time of around 3 hours. There is a battery saving mode, but that does not cover up the average performance of the battery. The only thing that is good about the battery is that the USB is Type-C. As impressive as the specs were, the performance of the Humidity Crystal did not meet my expectations. Yes, the device gives a full view display at a budget price, but display is not the only thing that people look for in a smartphone. Latency in app opening is frustrating, and even though the UI is simple, the performance is just par. And with a nearly stock like Android, I was expecting more battery life, and the dual camera performance was also expected to be better. Overall, the Humidity Crystal is just crystal by name. I think it's not a gem in reality. So that's all for now. Tune into Gadgetbyte Nepal for further tech updates. Uh, also, do tell us what you think about the Humidity Crystal in the comment section below. And that's all for now, so stay tuned.